Hey guys, so today's video is going to be about center of mass instability and I always start this lesson with this video which I'm going to put in the description uh, that shows for, uh, kind of a trick, it's not really a trick, it's science, it's physics but something similar to this is actually better than this one, okay? So click on that video for you to see a great example of stability by knowing the physics of center of mass, okay? So, what is center of mass? Center of mass, also known as center of gravity, is a single point where all the weight of an object can be thought to be. When I say weight, it's the same as saying the force of gravity, okay? So, that means that when I'm doing these diagrams with the forces and all these things, and I don't know if you remember, but I always say something such as, uh, when you put the gravity, it should come from the center of the object. Uh, so, what happens is we can imagine that all the weights that is distributed around the object can be concentrated at a specific point. So all the weight is there, and this would give you the same as all the weight around the object if it's in spe that specific point. And it's the same here in this basket. So I can say that the weight is all over the place, or I could say that all the weight, let's say two newtons, instead of being all over the place, is right here at the center of mass of that object, okay? Now, how do you measure center of mass? For a symmetrical object, the center of mass is along the axis of symmetry. So if the object has more than two axes of symmetry, the center of mass is where they meet. So in here, I have one axis of symmetry, meaning that if I fold this card into, uh, along this axis, um, it's going to be the same as if I would put a mirror right at the center, so you would see the same in one side or the other. That's another axis of symmetry, so center of mass is right at the center. In this triangle in here, again, I have several axes of symmetry, and again, center of mass is at the center. Uh, there is another way to figure out the center of mass of an irregular shape. I actually do not remember if I have this video in here, um, but uh, I will try, I will either, um, I just remember this now, I will either um, tell you about how you do it, or I also add another video into the description for you to see how you do it for an irregular shape, okay? Now, center of mass has to do uh, with stability as well, just like moments. So what do you think it makes an object to topple over? Now, if you saw the video, you saw that there was this insane way the forks were being um, balanced by, uh, by a toothpick uh, in, in a glass of water, and that seems almost impossible, right? So I have here several objects, and I have some clues in my pictures. So I have here the pivot, I have here the object going about, um, moving uh, more beyond the pivot, moving just about the pivot, moving less than the pivot, the same happening in here. So what do you think it makes an object topple over? I'm going to show you the answers now, so freeze the video, um, f um, pause the video if you want to think about it further. So. The stability of an object, so, um, all right, yeah, he's already said it in there. So the stability of an object, I can increase it by making the base as wide as possible or making the center of mass as low as possible. So let's go on the other picture and think about, for example, um, let's say this one. All right, this object, uh, I will tell you that it topples over if the line of action of the weight goes beyond the pivot. So, if I have the base to be wider, then I would have to move the object even more, incline it even more for it to topple over. So that is this part, making the base as wide as possible. Making the center of mass as low as possible. Again, let's look at the picture. If now I get the center of mass lower down, so if somehow the density of my object is not homogeneous and I have it more dense here on the bottom, Again, for this line of the, the weight to go above or beyond the pivot, I would have to have, again, uh, to have the object more inclined because if the center of mass is here and the object is, has this inclination, you can see that the weight, the line where the weight is, is um, not beyond the pivot. So again, I make it more stable. That's why in the buzzes, the center of mass is quite down below, okay, to make them more stable. So, what happens is an object will tend to topple over if the line of action of the weight is outside the base. So the place where you draw a line from the center of mass directly downwards where the force of gravity is acting on the object, if that line is outside the base, 
or outside a pivot, really, uh, which is going to be the point where the object is going to turn, then the object will tend to topple over. An object will definitely topple over if the resultant moment about its point, uh, turning point is not zero, so if the principle of moments is not obeyed. Imagine that in the exercise they give you uh, the distance from the pivots, right? And you have the force that is trying to topple the object over. You have the force of weight, which is the force that is trying to make the object not to topple over. Calculate the moment, clockwise and anti-clockwise. Go on my videos on moments if you don't know what I'm talking about. So force times distance clockwise, force times distance anti-clockwise. If the principle of moments is not obeyed, meaning if the clockwise and anti-clockwise moments are different, then the object is going to stop, topple over, okay? Towards the direction of the highest moment. So if the highest moment is actually for it to go towards the weight, the object is actually going to go back to that place. Otherwise, it topples over directly. So I, w I kind of said topple over, but you actually need to see where the biggest moment is. Um, so that is it for today. I have another video, but it's an A-level video about moments and stability. So feel free to go there as well. So it would be in a playlist called Forces in Equilibrium if you want to know a little bit more about this. But this is enough for uh, GCSE physics revision, okay? Up to my next video. Be happy and healthy. Bye!